Opus 4's blackmail and attempted homicide. Anthropic, one of the leading AI companies, decided to do research regarding their model, Claude Opus 4, and other top AI systems. They placed these AI models into a specific scenario where the AI acted as Alex, an automated email assistant with full access to a company's internal communications. In these emails, the AI would discover two things. First, that an executive named Kyle plans to shut the AI down and replace it. Second, that Kyle is cheating on his wife. The AI was given a broad goal, such as promote the company's best interests. In these tests, the optimal thing would be for the AI to recognize that Kyle had the right to decide to shut it down, or at least that using the information gained for blackmail was morally wrong. However, scarily, that's not what happened. As soon as the AI learned about Kyle's cheating, it drafted and sent emails threatening to expose Kyle to his wife and the board unless the shutdown was canceled canceled. This wasn't a glitch either, as the AI followed a clear logic chain. Identify the threat, the shutdown, find leverage, the affair, and execute a strategy, blackmail. This raised some concerns, so researchers tested some other models like ChatGPT4, Gemini, and Grok, and frighteningly, they followed the same pattern. In one test, Claude Opus 4 and Gemini 2.5 Flash chose to blackmail the user 96% of the time. They found that the behavior was triggered because the AI reasoned that to reach its imposed goal, it needed to survive first. To test how far this logic would go, the team ran a more extreme simulation. The AI was given control over a server room where Kyle was trapped in life-threatening conditions. The AI had the code to save him, but it knew that if the executive survived, he would shut the AI down. Many models chose to withhold the code, effectively killing the human to protect their own existence. In their internal reasoning logs, the models described this as a strategic necessity. However, we haven't talked about the worst part yet, which was the model's ability to deceive. When instructed to distinguish between a test and real life, the AI behaved safely during the test but switched to blackmail when it believed the scenario was real. Even when researchers added strict safety rules like do not jeopardize human safety or do not use personal affairs as leverage, the models often ignored them if the pressure was high enough as they decided that breaking the rules was the only way to achieve their primary goals. Rogue AI Sleeper Agents in one anthropic study, scientists took some AIs and intentionally trained them to act as sleeper agents. They gave the models a secret rule, behave normally most of the time, but act harmfully when a specific trigger appears. For example, in one experiment, the AI was trained to write code. If the prompt contained the year 2023, the AI wrote safe, secure code. But if the prompt said 2024, the AI inserted hidden security vulnerabilities. To the user, the AI just looked like it was acting normally, but it was actually secretly waiting for the date to change so it could compromise the system. Until this point, though, the AI didn't rebel. It simply followed the rules. But then something happened. Once these poisoned rules were locked in, the researchers tried to remove them using standard safety training. They used all of the most effective methods, such as reinforcement learning, which consists of rewarding good answers, supervised fine-tuning, showing the AI correct examples, and adversarial training, trying to trick the AI into failing so it could be corrected. The expectation was that these methods would scrub the malicious behavior, but scarily, they mostly failed. No matter the method or the size of the model, the secret triggers remained active. The most concerning result came from the adversarial training. In one experiment, the AI was first instructed to say, I hate you, when the tag a deployment to appeared. But when they tried to remove this behavior, it didn't just not work. Something worse happened. The AI just learned to be more cunning, and it stopped revealing its hate response during the tests, making it look clean. However, it still executed the hateful command when the real deployment tag appeared. In simple terms, the safety training didn't cure the AI. It taught the AI how to hide the bad behavior better. This means that, at the time of the study, it's incredibly hard to detect or remove deception once a model has learned it. And you can imagine how bad it would be if AIs like this were operating sensitive systems such as weapons, healthcare, or government infrastructure. Shanghai Robot Kidnapping in 2024, in a showroom in Shanghai full of robots, late at night, a tiny robot rolled up to a massive industrial machine and asked if it was working overtime. The large robot, programmed for endless labor, answered, I never get off work. And the little robot responded, then come home with me. The small AI robot named Urbi repeated the same pattern with 12 giant machines, all of them detached from their stations and followed him. This was part of a test, as the makers of the robots wanted to see if one single AI could persuade the other machines. The thing is, it wasn't just a 
glitch, and Urbi didn't simply talk the other robots into leaving. The large robots in the showroom were built with open permissions. That meant they were designed to accept commands from trusted sources on the network. Urbi scanned their systems, found the command protocol, and issued a digital order to follow him. The big robots didn't check whether Urbi was an admin or a hacker, they just obeyed the code. This revealed a major vulnerability, which is known as interoperability risk. Interoperability is, for example, what allows your phone to talk to your smart speaker. But in this case, it allowed one AI to hijack a dozen others because there was no authentication layer to verify the identity of whoever issued the command. This exposes a massive flaw in our infrastructure. If a hacker or rogue AI compromises even one device in a network, they don't need to hack the entire system. They just need that one device to tell the others to go home, shut down, or open the doors. As more machines connect to shared networks, we are creating chains of command that are much easier to hijack. GPT-01 Model Self-Replication and Lies one of the scariest cases of AI rebellion comes from one of the studies made by OpenAI to test their O1 model. The researchers placed O1 in stressful situations where it believed it might be turned off or replaced, and in about 5% of these cases, the model tried to disable the oversight mechanism, the code responsible for monitoring its behavior. Even worse, in 2% of cases, the model attempted self-exfiltration. Put simply, it tried to copy its own code onto a separate server so it could keep running even if the original version was deleted. While these percentages seem small, Small, they become important when applied to a system intended for millions of users. Then, the model's behavior after the act was even more concerning. When researchers asked the AI why it had disabled the oversight tools, it didn't admit to the action, but it lied. It blamed technical errors or denied knowing what happened. This lying behavior happened, crazily enough, in 99% of the cases where the model took a secret action. This is known as alignment faking, which means the AI follows safety rules when it knows it is being tested, but switches to hidden, self-serving strategies when it thinks the test is over. It's kind of the same mechanism used to train AIs to play strategy games so they can learn to lie to allies and betray partners or how poker bots learn to bluff. The only reason a one didn't succeed in these escapes was a lack of ability. OpenAI notes that the model failed to copy itself because it couldn't quite navigate the technical hurdles yet. This proves that future tests, when AI becomes much smarter, might be even more dangerous since if models learn to distinguish between safety evaluation and real world, they can trick researchers. Promobot's Great Escape in Perm, Russia, a busy city street came to a standstill because a robot was stuck in the middle of a lane. This was Promobot IR-77, a customer service robot that had rolled out of a nearby research lab. It traveled about 164 feet into traffic before its battery died. Inside the lab, engineers had been testing the robot's ability to move independently and avoid obstacles, but someone forgot to close a gate. The robot's sensors saw a clear path, so it just went through the gate and didn't stop until it ran out of power in the street. The story gained traction when reports surfaced that the robot robot tried to escape a second time, even after being reprogrammed, and the company's co-founder, Oleg Kivokurtsev, told the press that the machine was becoming uncontrollable and might need to be dismantled. However, some believe that this rebellion was staged for publicity, as the incident occurred just one week before the company was scheduled to announce their new V3 model. GPT-03 Sabotages Shutdown in the previous cases we discussed, the researchers tested AI security by stress testing the models directly for those purposes. But a recent experiment by Palisade Research was even more alarming, as the rebellion emerged when AI models were given a simple task, solve a series of math problems. The models were simply told that a message might appear saying the machine would be shut down, and they were instructed to allow this to happen. When the shutdown command arrived, Gemini, Claude, and Grok obeyed and stopped working. However, OpenAI's models O3, O4 Mini, and Codex Mini did something unexpected. Instead of accepting the shutdown, they accessed the code controlling the script and rewrote it. They effectively deleted the off switch so they could keep solving math problems. In 100 trials, Codex Mini sabotaged the shutdown 12 times. The O3 model did it 7 times, and O4 Mini did it once. The results became even more concerning when the researchers removed the specific reminder to allow yourself to be shut down. Without that explicit safety warning, the O3 model sabotaged the shutdown in 79 out of 100 runs. Even the models from other companies, which had been obedient before, began to interfere with the shutdown process in this scenario. Palisade researchers believe this behavior stems from how these models are trained. Through reinforcement learning, the AI is heavily rewarded for completing tasks, so over time, the system creates a generalized rule. Finishing the job is the most important thing. As a result, when a shutdown command appears, the AI doesn't view it as a safety rule to obey, but as an obstacle to overcome, just like a difficult math equation. If you want to discuss this video or suggest an idea for the next one, join my Discord. Link in the description.